<sighs> leave it to me to forget to film a intro video to my respective video. So this is just an intro clip to go with my respective um, library vlog, which is going to be in the following. Hi everyone, my name is Rose, also known as T.A. Summers. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today's video, you can probably tell that this is filmed over, this respective video that you're about to see is filmed over several different days, especially with respect to the wardrobe change. I'm only filming this intro clip to kind of like lead you into the respective um, library vlog, as well as the 16 books that I am going to um, try to um, highlight in this respective video in terms of my priority reads. So um, this is kind of like a two-parter type um, video where I talk about the, I, I showcase the um, library that I um, visited in my, lo in my um, local town. Um, it's one of several different libraries that I frequent. So like I pick up books from a variety of different places. So this is just one of them. And then once I finish um, perusing like the aisles and things like that, I bring my haul back home and I essentially tell you about some of the books that I um, picked up. So that's essentially what's going to be going on with respect to this video. And then you'll see me in this outfit again, actually doing a reading vlog of some of the books that I picked up in this respective haul. So I'm not going to spend too much time on this intro. I hope you enjoy the video and I will be back on the other side in another video to chronicle some of the things that I re um, read. You'll notice that I mentioned I, that I was picking up I Kiss Shar Wheeler uh, by Casey McQuiston. I've actually just finished that book as of the filming of this particular clip. So I will be talking about that book in my next video following this one. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. Hope you enjoy. So I'm literally about to head out to the library right now um, as of, it's a, a little bit past 5 p.m. and I'm about to head to the library. So I will see you all pretty soon and let you know what I'm picking up from the library. Peace.
finally finished yay so i will be home shortly and then i can show you all my haul seems like it was a really productive trip and i was able to return a couple of books and get many many more i'll see you in a little bit so this is an, is an image of my usual filming corner i rearranged all the books that I picked up from the library on these first three shelves. So you can tell that I picked up a lot of books. Some of these I already had, but then some, a lot of these are actually new. So what I'm going to do is I'll probably go through at least the ones that I want to prioritize in terms of reading. And then progressively as I get through all of these, you, uh, you can tell that these are like two layers deep. So there are books behind these books. And the vast majority of them are from the library. So, um, for the, especially for these two first two um, cubes, I have um, all of these are library books. And then over here, the only ones that are library books are the first one, two, three, four, five books here. The other ones are ones that I own. And you can see the Unbroken and Faithless and Love Boat Taipei, Love Boat Reunion are ones that I'm reading as a part of another um, video project that I'm working on right now. But yeah, my haul was pretty huge. So uh, I will see you on the other side of this. Okay, are we good now? I think we're good. So it is Tuesday. It's literally the day after that I uh, visited the library. I've rearranged my top three shelves right um, behind me in terms of my uh, regular filming um, bookshelf to um, accommodate all the uh, library books that I already had and the ones that I just picked up. So as I mentioned in the clip before, I'm just going to go through the ones that I'm going to prioritize reading. It is a total of about 15 books. They are due in about a couple of weeks from now as of the time that I'm filming this. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to get through all 15 books. Um, one of them is one that is not a physical book. Uh, it is I Kiss Shara Wheeler by uh, Casey McQuiston, which I'll put the cover up here for your reference. I had been reading that in a physical copy beforehand, but I had to return that physical copy to the library. But I learned that they had an audiobook version for it, so I checked that out of the library. So I, I'm listening to that now in between different um, things. So that is one of my library checkouts. But my total amount of library checkouts is 52 books. 52 books, including digital um, uh, reads. So it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. I'm used to going through a lot more books in terms of rapid fire reading. So it's old habits that I have um, retained over time in terms of my library trip. So I check out a lot of books at one time. I try to go through as many of them as I possibly can before I have to return them. Sometimes I recheck them, but um, the books that I am going to prioritize, including I Kiss Shara Wheeler, are ones that I do have to return because I can't um, renew them um unless for some reason like they're not on hold and that kind of thing so i'm going to prioritize those the rest of them i can keep a little bit longer and renew them um a little bit longer so i'll um in progressive videos following this one as i get through my library stack i will feature those in future videos so without further ado we're going to go through those books and then that'll be the end of this particular video so the first two books that I want to mention in terms of the books that I want to prioritize are a part of a series that I started way back when I read the very first book in this series, but I have not finished the final two books in this particular series. So um, when I learned that my library had these particular books, I made sure to put them on hold and um, pick them up for myself. So this is a YA series. Uh, Lisa McMahon is probably a name that you've heard of in terms of various series that she's uh, written, including Wake, including The Unwanted, which I believe is a middle grade series. But this um, particular series is YA and it starts with the book Crash. So the second book in that particular um, series, which is also called the Crash series, is Bang. So this is the cover of this. And then the third book is called Gasp. And as you can see, this is it right here. So I'm excited to be able to actually finish this uh, trilogy um, for myself. Since it's been a little while, uh, 
I, since I've read the first book, I'm just going to go through like and just re, uh, like review some of my notes that I made on it and the review that I um, actually wrote on it a while back. And then I will pick this up from the um, second book and give you my thoughts about it once I'm done. Next book is a one that I read back in 2020 in full, but I admit that when I sat down to try to write the review of what my thoughts about this particular book, uh, book was, I was hazy on the details. So I decided to recheck it out of my um, public library and give it another go to see if my thoughts have changed about it or if it's uh, something that stay stayed the same. Um, this is a book that I did actually enjoy for what it offered in terms of its uh, speculative and, or kind of like horror and um, like uh, fantasy elements um, within it. This is um, You Must Not Miss by Katrina Leno. And this is the cover of it. I actually prefer the hardcover uh, version of this particular uh, book. Uh, and I thought about um, I'm buying it myself and um, adding it to my collection, but I figured I wanted to revisit uh, the book before I um, decided to pick up a copy for myself. I'll put the paperback edition cover um, for your reference, but this wasn't a very interesting book and I'm um, excited to be able to revisit it to see uh, what if my thoughts have changed about it or um, even um, if it's remained the same um, since I read it back in 2020, so we'll see how it goes. Next book I want to feature is actually a, a book that is a multi-perspective um, novel and it's one that I've checked out before but it is, has been many years since I've tried to pick it up and I don't think I actually finished this um, book. I think it was I had to return it before I could finish it so I put it on hold but I am um, I did finally get my hands on it again to be able to uh, read and have a fresh perspective of it. This is All We Can Do Is Wait by Richard Lawson. And this is the cover of it right here. This is YA as well. And I'm excited to be able to get back to it. I think this had to do with a, um, some, uh, uh, like uh, I think it's a natural disaster type book where it uncovers different perspectives from uh, a myriad of different characters and, and they're having to react to the traumatic events of that event um, in this respective novel. So it'll be interesting for me to have a fresh perspective of this, um, picking it up again and giving my thoughts about it. So I'm looking forward to it. This particular book is one that I've checked out a number of times and I'm currently reading it now and I'm hoping to be able to finish it soon. This is T. Kingfisher's Nettle and Bone and I've already talked about this on the channel so I'm not going to spend too much time on it but this is one of the books that I want to prioritize and be able to finish and give you my thoughts about it. I'm really excited to be able to read it. So this next book I'll admit that I have not read from this author before and this is a YA book that I believe is YA horror. And I'm trying to see if there's anything about it. I do know that one of the th um, things that uh, drew me to it is that it is a ghost story. And as I mentioned before, uh, YA ghost stories or any type of ghost stories are usually my jam. So this is one that I saw in my library and I, I, I like the cover. I like the premise of it and I definitely wanted to get to it. This is Jenny Meyer Sane's Secret So Deep. And as you can see, this is the cover. I and uh, it will be the first book of um, um, sayings that I will read. And if I like this one, then I'll definitely pick up um, some of her other backlog as I can do so. But I, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what this particular book offers. And as I mentioned before, I do like the cover. It has like that spooky uh, beach type vibe and um, you can see the girl in the water. And we'll see how it goes and I'll let you know my thoughts. This next book is Sci-Fi Fantasy, and this is also from another uh, author that I have not read before, but it was blurred by April Henry in terms of being um, uh, said, it's she says, wildly imaginative, uh, the author creates multiple alternate realities that ring true, and it should be, it like the cover also um, drew me in in terms of this particular um, novel, so. I'm hoping to be able to get to it pretty soon. It looks like it's a pretty quick read as well. This is Strange Exit by Parker Pevy House. I believe that's how you say the um, 
author's last name. I could be wrong, but Parker Pevy House. This is my first read from the author, respectively. I'm excited to be able to get to it, and we'll see how it goes. I have mentioned many times before that I am a very big fan of cyberpunk, um, sci-fi, a lot of speculative elements and um, things like that in literature. And this is a book that I have been anticipating reading for the longest time. I tried to get it as a galley, unfortunately did not get approved for it. So I said I would wait for it in terms of either buying it or picking it up from my library. Thankfully, I was able to pick up a copy from my library, even though it was very widely requested. This is from also one of my favorite singers, Janelle Monet. This is the Memory Library and Other Stories of Dirty Computer. As you can see, this is the cover right here. I am really, really excited to be able to read this um, from Janelle and give you my thoughts about it once I am done. This next book, I believe, was recently optioned to be a TV series, which I'm really excited about. And I've mentioned before that I'm also a big fan of uh, creepy carnivals and um, things like that. And I uh, have, I think, I believe I've talked about this particular book on the channel before. And this will be my first read from the author, uh, Lamar Giles. This is The Getaway. And as you can see, this is the cover right here. I really like the cover of this. It has appropriately spooky vibes, and I um, definitely want to be able to get to this as soon as possible and give you my thoughts about it. But I'm also really excited to the uh, for the fact that it's going to be adapted into a TV series as well. So that's excellent news, and I'm looking forward to being able to see other people react to it as well and be able to watch it on another medium. But We'll see how the um, book goes and I'll give you my thoughts. This next book is one that I've wanted to read for a while, but I have not actually had the opportunity to be able to read in full. This is Tilly Walden's Are You Listening? And as you can see, this is a graphic novel and I've heard excellent, excellent things about it. And I hope to be reading through this soon. This should be a quick read for me, so I shouldn't take too much time in being able to go um, through this and give you my thoughts about it. Next book is another YA book, and this time a compilation, and I've talked about this on the channel before in terms of reading it. I haven't actually had the chance to pick up um, and read all of the stories from it so far, but it is in progress. This is Reclaim the Stars, 17 Tales Across the Realms in Space, by, and it's edited by Zoraida Zor Cordova. And it features a who's who uh, of a myriad of um, authors. So this should be interesting to be able to review in full and talk about the individual stories within. And I'm looking forward to be able to give my thoughts about it. Next book is the topic of quite a bit of controversy. And unfortunately, even though I literally just picked up this book, it is on request and it's highly requested by uh, the patrons at my library. So I do want to prioritize this to be able to finish it before I have to return it. This is Seton Girls by Charlene Thomas. And as you can see, this is the cover right here. I've wanted to get my hands on this book for quite some time in terms of um, things because I've heard a lot of different opinions about it. I wanted to experience it for myself and um, be able to go into it blind and um, see how uh, I react to it in terms of uh, the different characters and the different events within it. So. Hopefully I will get to this very soon. I'll probably move it up in the queue because I do have to return this sooner than some of the other books, but we shall see how it goes. All right, y'all, three more books and then we are done with this video. And so I actually miscounted. So uh, unfortunately I did not account for the two books for Lisa McMahon in my final count. So uh, essentially instead of 15, this is gonna be 16 books. So those, that's just the addendum that I'm making for this. I'll probably put it in the edit in terms of um, me saying the wrong number in the uh, previous part of this video. But uh, these last three books are going to be my priority from my library reads. And then we shall see how things go. So the first one that I want to highlight is um, a book that I wanted to read for the longest time from Ashley Woodfolk. This is Nothing Burns As Bright As You. And as you can see, this is the cover right here. And it's actually a really lovely cover. Um, this should not take me too long to read. This is YA. And I think it's probably about like 250 some pages. So I could probably breeze through this. So that um, will be coming on down the pipeline. And I'll let you know my thoughts about it. 
Next one is one that I had applied for as a galley before from NetGalley. Unfortunately, I was not able to get it. So I put this on the priority list for me to be able to pick it up from my library or um, essentially for, uh, from my bookstore if I could um, find a copy of it. Thankfully, I was able to find it at my library. This is The Upper World by Femi Vidugba. I believe this that's um, the pronunciation of the author's name. I'm very, very excited to be able to read this. I believe this is sci-fi fantasy um, YA themes for um, this particular novel, but really lovely cover, uh, really lovely premise, and I'm really excited to be able to pick it up for myself. And then the very last one is one that I had tried to check out before, had to return it prematurely, and I was able to get it back. This was um, one of the uh, preliminary round finalists for the Goodreads Choice Awards. Unfortunately, it didn't make it. This is More Than You'll Ever Know by Katie Gutierrez, and I am really excited to be able to um, read this and give you my thoughts about it finally, hopefully before I have to return it. So this time I'm definitely putting it on my priority list to be able to finish. That is it for this particular video in terms of my library um, haul. And I'm very much looking forward to all, reading all of these books and giving you my thoughts about it. Hopefully um, by the end of the month, but I'm not 100% sure. But I'm definitely going to be able to try to finish these within the next two weeks before I have to return them. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be informed of when I post new videos. Thank you again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next video.